Hello out there in YouTube land, welcome to the OK Good Review channel guys. And today, today we have from the Marvel Universe line, we have the Hulk, and guys, I've been totally remiss in some of my favorite figures, and if there was a gap in my office collection, which, as I film this, is less than a year old, so I guess some of that could be forgiven, but if there was a gap, it was some of my historically favorite characters, guys, so the Hulk was always one of my favorites for quite some time, guys, and I did not have any figure of the Hulk. Uh, Spider-Man, of course, that was also the case, and I do have a Jot of Metal Figs version of Spider-Man, and I don't feel like that is sufficient. The problem with some of these characters is that I'm super, super fussy now with the figures because I have to find space for everybody. So, like with Ghost Rider, for instance, guys, the more I get into that character, the more I really, really, really dig that guy. However, most of the figures I've seen of Ghost Rider, I don't particularly like. And I don't think that they're capturing what I'm looking for in a figure particularly well, guys. So, getting Ghost Rider is, is somewhat problematic. But And Hulk, I probably looked through every figure that was ever produced of Hulk, guys. And this one, and there's another one, guys, that will be... It may be posted by the time you see this, but if not, I'll be coming down the wire. I'm not going to tell you what it is at the moment. Just keep your eyes peeled for it. That is probably the most expensive action figure that we've gotten so far. And that one is going to be doing cool things also. As will possibly this guy. We're just going to see how well this one is going to work with stuff. And I don't know how well he's going to work because I see his, his fists are clenched, guys. So I might have to use the other one for that... Uh, for that cool sort of pose that I want to do. Uh, but guys, stay tuned to the channel down the line, and we'll hopefully I'll be able to get to that. So this is it, it is a collectible uh, comic one-shot. So and this is the Hulk Return of the Monster comic shot. And on the back, we have some other ones. You can get Craven the Hunter. You can get Spider-Man. Not a very good Spider-Man in my view. And you got Beta Ray Bill, uh, old horse face himself, guys. So this is the Series 4. Number nine, and they've got him in a pose here, which we probably should be able to actually accomplish without too much trouble. So let's crack this baby open, guys. This is from, um, 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 do, we have a, do we have a date on this? 2011, guys, so eight years ago as I record this, and let's just bust the old boy open. Okay, come on, Hulk. My comic shot. My comic shot. Where did it go? Okay, guys. So, is this the comic shot? This is just a. This is cool. So it's just like artwork, I guess. So that's cool. Um, I didn't really think there was going to be a comic book in here, of course, but that apparently is a whole kit and caboodle there. And it looks like we got some of this rubber bandage stuff on the back. So let's take that off. And is that everything? It is. Okay, yeah just around his metal so let's see if we can figure out the mysteries of the packaging so he's you can see it's kind of molded in and up and over him so let's just see if we can Hulk smash packaging okay let's go on Hulk alright guys so whoa there it is a little stiff on the rotation here. Been in packaging for a while. Whoa, these are super loose ball joints. Holy moly. So this may not work for what I have in mind. You can see you got, of course, the, the double knee joint. And I think in the pose they had it with his, I have to loosen all these up. His knees in the air. Like he's getting ready to stomp on somebody. Something like, like this maybe. Oh, he's got a he's got a, a little sparkle in his eyes. I don't know if you picked that up, guys. There's like some metal flake in there. So can have him with his fist to the side because these are gonna rotate. 
we've got oh, boy, there's a lot of articulation in this guys so there's a joint here and more rotate this guys look at this this is a ton of joints on this guy how about his head what can his head do his head is feels like it's on a ball joint but it's also kind of constrained but I believe he can look down Hulk look down on beauty humans Hulk look up at clouds pretty pretty clouds yep cool like it all right guys so let's let's just free him up here so we have rotation here rotation here one of the big problems with Hulk being as muscular as he is is if you want to do an overhand smash let's see how close we can get to this yeah, you can see he's runs in the way of his traps right here guys his big old meaty traps so <laughs> oh that's nice <laughs> Paul Chinese just pop up perfect you don't need your fist do you all right guys so let's see the pose here and this is this is he's giving you the fist like so this is going off in Neverland so we're not gonna worry about that and of course we've got the foot like so and let's see if we can get this up high enough this is I mean there there is a lot of articulation here though and I guess that's oh come on these are a little funky these joints here guys so but we can kind of get the kind of get the gist of it here he's getting ready to stomp on somebody a lot of articulation though I mean you can look at all the swiveling you can do with this guy you can just rotate him like crazy to, to unrealistic extent um, so oh, this is a really poseable guy but like there's a lot of chunks <laughs> oh that's cool <laughs> this might be the pose that we pick for him It's a little, some of these lines are a little strange, but let's see how he stands. Not bad. Not bad. I think we should have him be mad at us, though. Mad at the camera. Arr. Let's see. Can we cock his fist back farther? Not really. It just we we can't we can't have him bring his fist all the way back exactly but kind of have him do some posing these ball joints are super loose holy moly um okay guys so we could have him sort of doing this if we want to have him do like a haymaker though that's going to be a little a little challenging to do here but you well yeah, i mean you can actually i guess you can just have him twist his body <laughs> <laughs> oh, Hulkaroo! And he does have. Oh, these are very, very tiny holes in the foot, so I don't know about this. But let's see, Hulkaroo! I guess this is why that you can do that, guys. Oh, this is cool. This is a good pose. Up with the camera, Hulk Smash! Like the camera. There we go. Wow, balance is really a lot better on this guy than I thought it was, so we might go with that pose, guys. I don't know. Kicking around, kicking around. I was going to have him do something different, but he doesn't have the overhead mobility for it, guys. So I'm going to have to rethink that plan, guys. But this one, this one is a cool figure, guys, to to uh, to throw in there. Yeah, yeah, I dig this, guys. This is cool. And um, I got to find a spot for him now because I, I just saw him and I'm like, he's cool. And I need that thing. <laughs> He's cool and I need it, guys. Cool and I need it. Uh, story of every collector's life, guys. But there he is. This is, uh, for a three-inch figure, it's, it's really, really well done. I didn't take a look at the detail. We should do that. So we got a lot of shading here. We've got a lot of detail. And Hulk's not an ounce of fat on him. He's got this big, meaty fist. The fingers look really good. The toes also look really good. Uh, the knees, not as good. This is a little, honestly, guys, just a little funky here, but not bad. Uh, his face sculpt, I think, is pretty good. I mean, 
The problem with the Hulk is is that he has so many different facial expressions, guys, that you almost have to switch heads to get the one you want. Which, guys, hint, hint, is a video, guys, of Hulk that you should stay tuned for because that will be coming up or possibly it may even be posted right now, guys. Definitely feel free to look around for that. And, of course, the back here, we've got some really good striations here, guys. We've got... Just a lot of definition here to his muscles. A lot of really solid detail. This is a very well done figure. The back pocket is ripped, guys. I don't know if you can see it there. That's really cool. And this is weird. I don't know why that would be. Maybe he slid on the ground or something. But he's got the calves. Calf definition here. This is, a, this is good, guys. This is for a little 3-inch, well-ish, 3-inch-ish figure, guys. This is uh, really, really, really good. I dig this, guys. This is, yes, 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 yes. We're going to have him do it again on Iron Cross here, guys. Let's see. <laughs> let's just kind of, let's, set, let's go for symmetry here. Yeah, put your fist right there, buddy. Oh, this is good too, guys. Look at this. He looks like a bodybuilder here, but he, Hulk always kind of has that look to him. Always a little bit of the old bodybuilder look. Okay, so maybe we'll just put him in a bodybuilding pose. That'd be kind of cool. I don't know, guys. I'm still working on where that pose is going to be. Uh, but we, we uh, let's see. Can you can you bend him over? I wonder if you can. We can I don't think we can bend him enough over enough to do the 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 beat on the ground slam yeah he definitely doesn't have that much movement to him but so there he is guys the hulk smash guys from the marvel universe series four number nine guys hopefully you enjoyed our look at hulk smash guys if you did please give us the old thumbs up give us give your give and fat guys give the old thumbs up button the old hulk smash Hey guys, if you have not done so yet, guys, we would appreciate it if you would hit the old red subscribe button, guys. You can hit the blue bell, and we will all hope collectively, guys, that YouTube will let you know when the latest guys content is provided, guys, including more stuff from my office. Even though I felt like I was pretty much done, very clearly I'm not. <laughs> very clearly, very clearly. So guys, this will be... The office display will be in October 2019 as it is in October of every year, guys. So you can kind of see what I've done, but I probably will be working on it throughout the year. I may put some of that stuff up on Twitter, guys. So if you want to, feel free to follow us on our Twitter feed. And guys, leave us a comment. Let us know if you collect any of these. Which is your favorite Hulk, guys? It could be Bandai and Tamashii Nation, guys. Figure Arts. It could be... Like NECA, I don't know if NECA actually did one, but it could be uh, Kota Bakia, it could be 112, Mezco, something like that, guys. There's a lot of really cool ones. Marvel Select has a very nice one, guys, that I almost got. The, just the face sculpt is a little bit too much like the first version of the Hulk that was in the comics. I wasn't a super huge fan of that. I like some of the later Hulk works a little bit better in terms of what the artwork is like. But guys, let us know. Let us know if you have Hulks, what your favorite Hulk is. There's some really awesome Planet Hulk out stuff, guys. In fact, I almost got one of those. One of those has just recently come out, guys. It's got all his weapons from the Planet Hulk comics. With they And they borrowed a little bit of that for Thor Ragnarok, guys. Very, very, very cool stuff. That is one of my favorite versions of Hulk, guys. Infinity War Hulk. All that stuff, the Marvel Cinematic Universe, there's a lot of really good Hulks out there. But I'm looking for, I was looking for really specific stuff, mostly having to do with the face sculpt and a little bit with the coloration. But the detail on this is very impressive. And that's kind of what, what, you know, turned the dial for me a little bit, guys, and moved the needle in a big way. So, anyway, though, guys, let, let us know what you look for, what you like, guys. We'd love to hear from you. That's good enough for us this time. We'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.